Yeah, man. Early days there was used to be hanging around Kofta, Necroman, Sparky, Paul Roman. Uh, uh, what's his name? Fucking uh, Stuart from the Oh, right. Yeah, man. Stuart was my neighbor. Definitely, you know, they wrote a song called The Creek Road. Oh, okay. Rocking on the Creek Road. Creek Road was right, you know, so we used to have fucking jams, man, around the house. It used to be just six, seven of us from all different bands, man, just jamming fucking 50s rock and roll stuff, jamming each other's songs. We sent the part as pictures where we hired that van, it was a blue escort van, and it got so fucked that weekend because we had about 20 people standing on the roof of it, surfing, surfing on the roof, driving around Santa Pod. Um, so when we when we brought it back to the uh, to the higher place, they were like, "What the fuck happened to our van?" We said we got attacked by some fucking football hooligans. They jumped, they jumped on the van. That's what we used to do, just hang out and um, take the fucking piss out of each other. And there was no there was no you know, your band's bigger than my band or this, because we were all just kind of, yeah. we were all teen, you know, okay, teens to 20 year olds, just fucking having some, um, just hanging out, having a rock and jam. We used to go busking with Paul, Paul Roman um, in um, Common Garden. He lived in London for a while, we used to go busking, and uh, he'd play bass, I'd play guitar, then we'd swap around, we'd make fucking no money. No, we didn't, it was cool, <laughs> made a couple of quid. But uh, yeah, it was good times, man. This was all around the same time, you know. This was all the bands. I mean, the Klingons had their, um, you know, we had our own house in, in, uh, in London from about 1988. Uh, we used to all live together. Yeah. So we lived together for about 10, 12 years. And in the in that time, we used to have just people come visit us. You know, oh, do, a lot of men were here. You know, sometimes we had like 50, 60 Germans come visit us. Oh, shit. Yeah, man. Because for some reason we said, oh, yeah, man, uh, when you're in London next time, man, look us up. So a big fucking bunch of Germans, man, will take over. You know, you come in in the morning and there'll be fucking some two Germans in the bath, one watch it, washing each other's back. <laughs> right, exactly, man. <laughs> and so we had a campsite. We made a, we made a campsite at the back for the Germans. Yeah. yeah. You tell those fucking ginger-headed fucking uh, Scottish cuts, right? <laughs> Black old Morsey, fucking the rest of them twats, man. We used to fucking um, stay in that place called Easter House. Yeah. And uh, the deal was, man, right, you had to fucking obviously drink as much as possible. But, you fell asleep, man, you get your eyebrows shaved. <laughs> okay, that was the deal, okay? So, normally they would shave one of your eyebrows. <laughs> because you'd have to shave the other one yourself. Yeah. Because you feel like a cat walking around with one eyebrow. So, I remember one time when we stayed over, man, people were sitting about here and there with one eyebrow missing, okay? But I think it was Morsey, man, it was his flat. And he went to bed early. He went home off the bed and he locked his door. So he wouldn't get the eyebrows. So the guy sneaked around, man, and got in through his window. <laughs> but they didn't shave his eyebrows, man. They turned all his fucking posters upside down. The next day when he woke up, he went fucking, yeah, man. Ah, oh, you, f yeah, you fuckers. <laughs> it didn't get me. But then when he looked around, man, all the shit was all upside down, so he thought it was a fucking ghost. So you tell them fucking jump passes, man. They licked the cleft of my ass. <laughs>